So here we are, finally my first time ever the St. Lawrence River. We're here in July. There's been a lot of tournaments here leading up to this event, and I've been watching all of them. Really excited to get here. They're smashing them every tournament. A lot of it was sight fishing. These fish were up on beds, and they were just catching hundreds of pounds of fish a day. You see here, I don't know where to start. I'm just winging it. I picked the middle section of the river. My first couple of fish, I catch a walleye, then I catch a yellow perch, and I'm just trying to troubleshoot my way through here. Again, I, I don't know where to fish here. You can't get any information in the pro circuit, so just going out there and trying to use my Lowrance electronics and my sea mapping and try to locate um, some irregularities, try to figure out if there's a depth or a bottom composition or grass, just, just trying to learn current seams, everything there is. Um, pretty early on here, I, I catch my first smallmouth here. It's not a big in by any means, uh, but you always appreciate catching that first target species uh, when you're on a new body of water. Try to learn something from it. And again, this is not a very big one. Oh, yeah. but, uh, Has no dorsal fin. Kind of no dorsal fin. <laughs> but small keeper, maybe a two pounder, probably not even two pounds. Uh, you can see I'm fishing here by a bridge. I can't remember the name of that bridge right now. Um, but I actually saw a piece of structure, uh, literally some wood, kind of fell like Oklahoma. Found some wood, and I put on my Jawtech French fry worm, threw it over there in a drop shot, and I catch a pretty decent one on this. So I was pretty excited about this. So strong. So strong. These new kiss the reels are I really am enjoying these new Kistler reels. This is, I'm just now getting to use them. Um, they just came out, and everything about them I like. The drag system is great. The oversized handle, um, everything has performed flawlessly for me. So, little guy. <laughs> okay so here i spotted i thought it was the same piece of wood as that last fish came on but it had a little bit different shape to it so there may have been a couple pieces of wood here but i dropped down on this and i catch this small keeper here uh and then not much longer later um i get a different angle of this piece of wood see a little bit bigger fish on there and i catch it using the lorance active target So here I'm, I've spotted this piece of wood and I'm working my jaw tech french fry in there. I'm getting to bite it. I can see him in there. Uh, I drop it back down there and I think he gets it the second time. Yep. So this same piece of wood I came back to uh, during the tournament. Wasn't having uh, the best day, but I came back over here to this piece of wood and I catch one of, if not my biggest fish, uh, of day one of the tournament on this same piece of wood. We marked a tree down there with the active target. Saw it with the side scan. We pan over there and saw it with the active target. And, oh my gosh, we got a good one. We dropped this uh, Yawtech french fry down there and a good one just ate it. The kind that you need up here. Man, he just choked that jaw tech french fry. Right in the snout. Right how you want it. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Jaw tech french fry. You kiss the reel. On KOX spinner on it. God, these are footballs. So here I'm doing something that I like to do when I'm fishing 
ledge fishing or dragging, fishing current, I'll actually throw a couple of different baits out there um, and drag a couple of different baits by just trying to locate fish, see if they have a preference in one bait versus the other. Uh, so I'll never do this with the same two baits. I'll always try a couple of different things uh, just to try to help me learn. I've got limited time out here. And so this is just a little thing that I like to do. You can't do this in the tournament, uh, but you can do it in practice. Um, so uh, trying to find this, I, I don't remember which of the two baits this one picked here. Uh, I, actually, I think I had one bite the other one uh, while I was dragging through there. So uh, odds are I just found a little pack of fish right there. Uh, but nevertheless, little trick I use. Uh, maybe you guys could employ it yourself on some of the fisheries that you go to. Again, not a big one, but another keeper. So I'm still fishing around this bridge. Uh, there's a lot of unique things around this bridge. I'm graphing. There's there's depth changes. There's bottom composition change. There's obviously a lot of current. Anytime you get a bridge, you're going to get some restrictions and some current. Uh, so there's current seams and things. So I thought if I could figure out something around this bridge, it would be pretty consistent. Uh, so I did spend some time around it on this first morning of practice. And I caught some fish around it, but never really got excited about what I was finding. When I did catch one, they weren't giant, and I... so just keep grinding, keep trying to catch them. I don't believe this one was very large either. Nope. <laughs> Still fun though. So you can see I haven't gone far down the bridge here. That one there was actually a pretty big fish. Um, here's a slow-mo jump of it. I remember thinking that was the biggest fish I had the entire day. It, it wasn't huge, but I do think it was the biggest one I'd had. Here I'm doing the two-rod trick. I'm actually dragging a Carolina rig, and I had it sitting off to the side and noticed the fish hit it, so I picked up the Carolina rig, set the hook, and, and caught one on a Carolina rig, which I was excited about. Uh, you like being able to power fish for them and horse them in if you can. I like that because you can just catch them with the heat. You can see in the background how far away that bridge is now. I've pretty much covered all of that water between the bridge and where I am. Not many fish to show for it. Still trying to grind it out. Still trying to find uh, a sweet spot or more than one sweet spot. And it's really hard to tell. You can't tell what size these fish are pulling that current and you almost got to force them up out the water. Little tanker. But again, another little one. So here I've moved further, further up the river, actually, towards Messina. And uh, hook up with another keeper. And again, I'm making a waypoint every time I catch one, hoping that it's going to be followed up by a bunch of other waypoints. get down poured on. I mean we're about to get poured on. Oh, St. Lawrence River is not what 
I expected. This is so much rain right here. This is so much rain. So you can't tell there, but before that rain came, I had probably fished four hours without a fish. And then the rain came in, so it was kind of insult to injury kind of deal. Uh, so it did rain pretty good, got away from it, tried to run away from it. And I actually hooked up with this fish. I wasn't recording, I was on the phone with Chad Warren letting him know how my practice was going. and. And I hook up, and, uh, and you I think this ends up being the best like fish it. of the day for me. I don't know. I don't know. I got a glimpse of him. I got him. I will. Well, here we go. Six hours later, we finally catch one. It's our best fish. 337. <laughs> that is a. St. Lawrence, little one, but a big one for us. 337. <laughs> this ain't no joke, guys. St. Lawrence River is tough. <laughs> I don't know if I just ain't in the right area. Maybe I need to get close to the lake. I don't know. But it is not like just a catch fest like we thought. All right, so the GoPro died. I've got it hooked up to the truck now to record this last scene, but we're up, we're off the water, and we had almost 17 hours of fishing today and that was brutally tough in my opinion i don't know how many we caught not very many though somewhere between five and seven and twelve seven and ten didn't have much weight maybe 12 pounds just talked to cody meyer he only caught 10 or 12 fish today said it was really really tough and just a month ago he thought it was the best lake in the world so i don't know really tough yet again that's three or four derbies in a row really rough practices we got to keep our head down we got one more day tomorrow like i said we got almost 17 hours to practice i got one more day i got to figure out where to catch five good ones here i have no idea what the cut weight's going to be because if the fishing is truly that hard all bets are off in the previous tournaments where they've just been smashing them here so um either we're missing the buck again or it's tough but we got another day of practice so we're going to remain optimistic on the day two of practice here the st lawrence river final stop 2021 Pro Circuit by Tackle Warehouse.